friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am making a really long wooden sign with my Cricut Joy. I have not done a front porch sign yet, so I'm super excited to bring this to my channel. And I found a really, really cute design that I just had to do because it definitely was my style. So in this video, we are going to use the tiny Cricut Joy to create a really long design. And the Cricut Joy really makes simple work out of making long designs like this. So I'm excited to show you how simple and easy this is. We're also going to be using Using some smart material so we can do the continuous cutting and then we're also going to use some regular full-size material just because there was a color that I really wanted to use that wasn't offered by the joy okay so let's go ahead and hop into design space I'm going to show you how I'm going to prep the design and then I'm going to show you how to get it all sized perfectly for the sign that you have I am using a really long sign so this is going to be quite a large project which will be a really fun challenge but the joy is going to make it super easy then I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut it out weed it and then get it all assembled on my board I think this is going to be a really cute sign for spring and I can't wait to see how it turns out all right let's get started Okay, so this is the file that I am going to be using. I did purchase this from Design Bundles and I'll be sure to provide a link down in the description box below in case you'd like to purchase it and remake this sign yourself. I think it's really pretty. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna come over to Shapes and I'm going to select a square and then I'm going to size this for the actual dimensions of the wood sign that I'm going to be placing my design on. So I'll just come up to the size box right up here so I can manually enter those dimensions in and I have a width of 10 inches and a height of 48 inches okay so there is my nice long nice long sign and now I will go ahead and make that white because it is a white sign just so we can visually really get an idea for where this is going and then I'm going to send this all the way to the back then I'll go ahead and just drag my design right on top of my sign and then I'm going to unlock it that way I can go ahead and really really get those dimensions exactly where I'd like them so I am thinking this looks really good to my eye might make it just a tad smaller just like this okay so I like how that looks now I'm going to just relock that so it stays put and then I'm going to select my design and I am going to ungroup it now you'll see that this design file is made up of a lot of different layers so we're going to need to attach some together so our Cricut knows how to cut out each of the elements and in what order so I definitely know I want all of the pink pieces to be cut out together. So I'm going to select all of the pink pieces and then I am going to say attach. I'll do the same for the black pieces and I will say attach. And then I am going to have to make this a little bit different for the little vines. Um, let's go ahead and just make this a joy um, profile up here that way we can get any alerts if anything needs to pop up for sizing okay so what I want to do is I want to I'm just gonna move these actually I'll just move them over onto my sign just so I can have some area to work with the vines here now so if I use this whole thing and say attach you'll see that it pops up with an alert saying that it is going to be too large for the joy so you'll see the dimensions are too large for the actual dimensions that the joy can cut so I don't want to do that I want to detach those and I'm going to try attaching them just in little segments so just like this and I will say attach and then I'll see there's no alert over there so I know that this is all good so I can go ahead and bring this over to my sign and then I will select all of these together and just say attach again no alert pops up so I am good to go I can bring that right over here and I'll do the same for the bottom so I'll just do the first little half here getting all of those little vines and say attach no alert pops up so I am good to go and then my final piece and attach and again no alerts so I really like um, and I should have done that sooner but I like to 
make sure I have my profile set to the machine I'm using. That way I know right away if I'm having any problems with the sizing. And I knew I wanted to use my joy for this because I wanted to use the continuous cutting feature for these longer pieces. Okay, so I think this is going to be really, really great. So we're going to have two separate pieces down here. This will all cut together. This piece will also cut all together. And then we'll have two separate pieces up here. And I think that will be just as easy to put together on the sign. So now I'm going to select my sign and I can just hide that because I don't need it cutting out a big rectangle. This is just for sizing purposes. Now I can go ahead and say make it and then we will get a preview for what our mats are going to look like. So in regards to how we're going to load our material, I'm going to say multiple ways because I have two rolls of Smart Vinyl that I'm going to use for the Oh Hello and then the Spring, but I actually have some full-size vinyl that I'm going to use for this green part. And the reason I'm doing that is because the Joy did not have a nice green that I really liked for this, so I went ahead and just used some of the larger rolls that I have because the Joy still doesn't have a ton of colors, um, in my opinion, for the vinyl. So that's okay, you can still use full size vinyl. So I'll go ahead and do done. And then since I said multiple ways, then I need to tell it over here how I'm going to do everything. So of course, I'm going to do without a mat for this piece and this piece. But then for this piece, I am going to do a mat and then I need to just tell it what mat. So I'm going to say on a mat. And then it's going to default to the smaller mat, but I do have the larger mat, so I'm just going to go ahead and say 4.5 by 12 inch, and that is the larger mat. That way it simplifies. I'm only gonna to have to use two mats because it can put two of those designs on each mat. So that looks great. So we have two with matless cutting, and then we have two mats. Looks perfect. I'll go ahead and say continue, and then I can make my material selection in this screen. So I'll go ahead and browse all materials. For the first two colors, I can use the Smart Vinyl, and I will just say Smart Vinyl Permanent. Okay, and then I'll say done. Then when I go to do the mats, I will just say all materials, so I'll select that. And then I will just use, so I'm going to end up using the premium vinyl setting. It's not highlighted here because if I click on it, it says the material is not supported with matteless cutting. And that's because I am clicked on one of my matteless cutting um, layers over here. If I were clicked on here, then this would show up. So I'll just use the premium vinyl setting once this mat comes into play. Okay, so again, I am on the Smart Vinyl Permanent right here and I can say done. So now what I'll do is I will go ahead and load my gray first, then I will load my pink second, and then I'll go ahead and do the mats for the third and fourth cuts. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here are the materials that I will be using. I'm going to use this really pretty, it's my favorite, it's called Tulip, and this is one of the smart vinyl rolls. And then for the gray, I couldn't find a gray, like I mentioned, it doesn't have a lot of um, options with the smart vinyl in my opinion, so I went with this silver, which I think is equally going to be really pretty, um, but I went with a silver instead. So this is their smart vinyl permanent in silver. And then again, I went ahead and did a larger full size roll of vinyl for the leaves or that little um, leaf finish because of the color. So a lot of the material selections I make due to what color I'm looking for and where that color lies in terms of materials. So that's how that went for me. So the first one I'm going to use is this silver. So I'm just going to go ahead and open this box and load it into my machine. Okay, so I have it ready to go. I'll just open up the Joy. And then this is matteless cutting, so we don't need to put it on a mat at all. We're just going to take a little bit and I, we will just auto feed it into the machine and we'll grab it. And then what it's going to do is it's going to pull it all the way in and then it'll pull it back out. And what it's doing is it is making sure we have enough material to complete the cut. So now it's going back out and I just allow it to roll back into itself. And then on my computer, I will just say go when it is time and it will start the cut. 
Okay, so I'll just roll this up and set this to the side. Then I have my tulip, which I will load the same way because that is smart vinyl as well. So a lot to auto feed, it'll measure it out. And I will say go on my device when it's ready and it will start cutting. I'm also just starting to load my full size material onto my mat here. So I'll get that loaded and then I'm just going to trim off the area that I don't need so it'll fit into the machine. Okay, unloading this color, that's all good to go. And then I can go ahead and load my mat next. Again, I'm going to make the premium vinyl selection for my material in Design Space. And then I'm going to press go and let it cut it out. Okay, so this is going to start cutting and then I will go ahead and load the second mat and then we will start weeding and assembling. Okay, so I have weeded out the um, little mint pieces. Those are all done. And then what I like to do with my bigger pieces is before I weed them out, I of course need to trim off any area that hasn't been cut because then I can save that for another project. So I can put this right back in the little box here and save it for another craft. And then what I like to do is I like to save as much vinyl as I can. So I'm just going to go through here. There is, it's hard for you guys to see, but I can see it. There is a lot of uncut vinyl on the side here that I can keep. And I already did it with my silver piece. But I'm just going to go ahead and trim that off because I want to save that. I can use that for other projects. Of course, I won't be able to feed it in my Joy without a mat, but you can put that on and put this on a mat, excuse me, and you can refeed it in. So I will go ahead and place a video link to a video that I have done all about how to reuse your smaller pieces of Smart Vinyl because you can definitely use this. So I just like to keep this and this will come in great handy. That's a lot of vinyl in my opinion. So I personally like to save as much as I can, but you go ahead and do whatever you'd like. I will start with my silver and I'll just grab a little edge here. And I've already saved as much as I want on this silver without going too overboard because I want to make this also easy to apply onto my sign. Okay, so that looks really good. And then I can go through and just grab those little middle pieces really quickly. And this makes really easy work using the joy for long projects like this. I think this is the longest sign I have done though. I think my other sign was quite a bit shorter. So I've been wanting to do a longer door sign for a while. Although mine is actually going to go in inside the house. It's going to either go in our dining room or our foyer area. Um, so that is what my plans are for this little piece. But you can also use this um, design with any machine. So you would just, you know, when I was going through design space and I was attaching these letters together this way, you would just attach them in smaller chunks and then you could use your bigger machine to do this. But since I have the joy, I thought why not make this super easy and do the continuous cutting and really see that shine. Okay. So super easy weeding. And I think I am all good. So now I'm going to use two separate transfer tapes. So I like to use the um, Smart transfer tape for the Smart Vinyl because Smart Vinyl is a lot thicker than regular vinyl, in my opinion. I find that it's really, really thick, so it needs its own transfer tape. And then I'll just use some regular transfer tape with this. And I'll link both transfer tapes in the description box below so you know exactly what I'm using. But let me grab the transfer tape and then we'll get our sign in here and get everything all put together. Okay, so I have the Cricut Joy transfer tape. This is just the regular. They also have a strong grip, but I like the regular for just the regular vinyl. And I will go ahead and just grab some to use. Now I am going to use the same piece on the Oh Hello and then the Spring just so that I can save 
some transfer tape. So what I'll do is I'll just put transfer tape on one of them and then I will, once I've applied it to the sign, I will reuse that transfer tape and put it on the other section. Okay, so I have a piece already so what I will do is I will just trim that down so I know how much I need okay and then we are going to very skillfully and thoughtfully place this down so I'm going to grab my scraper okay so what I like to do again with my weeding tool is I like to just pierce a little edge just to bring up that transfer tape. And then I will just grab maybe an inch to two inches of it and let it hang off the side. And then what with the rest, I will just leave it on the roll. So I have just a little bit there. I hope you can see that. Of course it's clear, so it's a little bit difficult, but I just have a little bit there. And then I'm folding the rest behind and I'm just going to place this right over my design here. Okay, just like that. Now what I can do is I can go put my hand under and underneath there's that little piece that I folded underneath. So I'm just gonna grab that and I'm going to pull. And as I pull that, it's just going to lay the transfer tape right down on my vinyl, just like that. So I'm just pulling and then it's laying it down. Just like that. Okay, so then I can also keep this because once I'm done with doing both pieces with this single sheet, I can put it back on this little carrier sheet here and then hopefully it has enough stick to do another round, which it should. But then I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this down with my scraper tool. And this should be all ready to go. I also like to flip mine completely over. This is quite a noisy little project. And then I like to do it on the back as well. I think it just really helps that vinyl come up if you scrape it down on the front and the back. Okay. So I have this ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and place these two pieces to the side. And then I'm going to prep my little um, greenery pieces with some regular transfer tape. So I'm also using just a regular clear transfer tape for this second little piece. And I just am going to unroll just a little bit here. Okay, and once I have some unrolled here, I will just lay my little pieces down and fit them all on my little roll here. Okay, so I'm flipping these upside down so that the actual vinyl is sticking down onto the transfer tape. Okay, and then I will just trim this off really quickly. And then again, what I like to do is I like to scrape on the front and the back. So I will go ahead and just take my time, really press down so that that transfer tape and vinyl really meet up well. And we are almost set to bring in our sign. So again, the front and the back. Okay. And I'm also now going to bring up my design in design space. That way I know where the vines are going to go on my actual board. So I'm going to trim these apart and then set these aside so they are ready to go. And I'll match them up just by referencing design space. Okay, so here is my long sign. I'm not sure if I can get it all in camera, so I'll just... Band. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to get it all on camera. Okay, that's totally fine. I will do one side at a time and I will start at this top end and make sure this is actually the top. Yes, it is. Okay, so we are all set to go. So we'll start over here. Again, I'm going to bring up design space so I can really see where all my pieces are going to go. And then I'm just going to start placing them 
on the sign here. Now, what I think, and you can approach this any way that you feel comfortable, because I always say that whatever makes you feel the most confident is the way you need to craft. So this is how I'm gonna approach it though. I am going to do the vines first, and then I'm going to do the Hello Spring elements in the middle second. I just think for me, that's going to be easiest. So I will place these where they are going to belong. So we have one there and one there. That's gonna be really pretty. Okay, so these will go on the other side. So I'm just going to lay those over there just so everything is organized. And I will grab my scraper and we will get to assembling. Okay, so I'm just gonna really quickly do a little scrape down one more time just to make sure that it's going to pull up effortlessly, at least we hope so. And then I'm gonna peel that carrier sheet right off, leaving my design on my transfer tape. Okay, so that worked really good. Okay, so now I can start placing these where they go. So I'm going to just eyeball it. You can also, of course, bring out a measuring tape, but I always find that once I place it down and then I bring in my measuring tape that I am so close. So for me personally, I find that I guess I have a pretty good eye for this. Now watch me really mess up and <laughs> not line it up well. But if you, what my point is, is make sure that if you're not good at eyeballing that you just go ahead and grab that little measuring tape. Okay, so then I'm just going to scrape that down and then peel up my transfer tape. Okay, there's the first piece. Okay, so I'm going to save this and reuse it. And then I will go ahead and just re-scrape down just like the last one. Okay, peel this up. Perfect and line this up and lay it down. Okay, I think that looks really good. So I just kind of lay it down with my fingers first and then go back in and really reinforce that with some pressure. Okay, so I also got this sign at Michael's. It came in bare wood, so on the back you will see that it is just unfinished wood. And then I applied gosh, did I do two or three? I think it was, I think it was three coats of my favorite chalk paint, which you guys know, I only use this one chalk paint. I'll link it below. It's my favorite. Um, but I applied about three coats of that to this. And of course you can paint this any color. You can use any vinyl colors. I, of course, if you have been here for even a moment, you know I really love the soft neutrals and that's how I decorate my home. So, of course, I'm going to choose vinyl that is going to match my home. So, all right, so we have our little design on this end and now I'm going to just scoot this over and peek the other side in the camera. And then again, referencing design space on my computer, I know that I'm going to place this here and then this here. Okay, so again, I'll just re-scrape just to make sure. Okay, and scrape down. And then peeling away my transfer tape and setting this aside to save for another project. Okay, and my last piece, as I'm working on this, we have a really, really nice light rain. So I love listening to the rain. It is the most relaxing thing ever to me. So it, I'm finding myself really relaxed in my craft room right now, but we're definitely having our little spring showers and everything is blooming. So of course they go hand in hand, but I, it's not lost on me that I'm enjoying some nice spring weather as I am making this beautiful spring sign. 
Okay, so this is the last of our end pieces and now we will start on our middle pieces. Okay, so I have my spring just like that. So I found it easiest to do the end pieces first because then I think it is easier to visually line up these middle pieces. So again, approach that however you'd like, but that is kind of my reasoning for doing it in the order that I did it. And then of course this is going to go this way. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay, deep breaths. Okay, so now I'm gonna flip this over and sometimes smart vinyl can be a little tricky, but I find that once I get it started and if I just kind of go slow and roll, also keeping my little weeding tool handy just in case, where did I put it? Of course I said handy and now I lost it. Um, but keeping that tool handy just in case I need to help any pieces come up. Just nudging some pieces along here. Okay, there we go. Being careful not to rip any of my vinyl. So even though sometimes, from time to time, I find that the Smart Vinyl is a little hard to work with just because of its thickness, I do really like to work with it because since it is so thick, I find that it is a little bit more durable. I'm not sure if you feel the same way, but I feel like it really holds up well just because it's thicker and just seems to be a little bit, I don't know, stronger. I, I really have to just say the thickness really is appealing to me. But, um, so I'm saying that because even though sometimes it can be a stinker to get up, I think in the end it's really worth it. Okay, so we are all set. Now, I'm going to take a deep breath and do this part here. Okay, so now I'm just going to line this up. Now, I'm going to hold this very tight on the ends because if it lays down and clings, it's going to stick. So I'm going to just hover over and try to get that as straight as possible. I think I'm going to commit. Okay. So I'm just going to gently lay that down. Okay. <laughs> so nervous. Okay, and then I'm going to take my scraper tool and just scrape out towards the edges. So I'm just going to start in the middle and then I'll scrape out to one side and then to the other. That is scraped down really well. I'm just gonna go back through and just double check. Okay, so now I'll peel up my transfer tape slowly, leaving my design on my sign. Okay, so I was not enthusiastic about having to use this silver, but I love it. It is actually adding a really pretty shimmery element that is really, really nice. So I'm really glad that I did that instead of um, trying to do this with a full size length of um, vinyl because this shimmer is so pretty. I really like that. Okay, preserving my transfer tape here because I want to reuse it. Okay. So now I'm just going to place this right on my spring word, just like this. And then I will scrape it down on the front and back. And the back. And then with it still face down, I'm going to start peeling away my cutting carrier sheet. So that is going really well. Okay, so now we can lay this last piece down and then our sign will be completely done. Okay, again, holding that really tight on the sides so that hopefully it does not fall and cling. 
Okay. Okay. I think I like that. Okay. So now I'm just going to again start at the middle and work my way out with my scraper here. Okay, that looks really good. Here's the final reveal. There we go. So pretty. I love it. I love how that turned out. I cannot wait to be able to enjoy this all of spring. This is so fun and I love the colors. Again, use any colors that you would like. These are just colors that really inspire me and this is what fits well with my um, decor. So I love how this turned out. It's so cute. I'm so proud of myself. Can you tell? I was a little bit nervous from time to time during this tutorial, but it all worked out and it looks so sweet. So we have that top little piece with the little floral elements and then we have the bottom piece. So the C Cricut Joy Continuous Cutting was really the game changer for this project. Again, you could definitely do it with a um, larger machine as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you loved the final project as much as I do. I can't wait to enjoy this this spring. And if you did, please be sure to give this a thumbs up. There's also some videos that are going to pop up on the screen. So if you want to keep hanging out with me and keep crafting, then just be sure to click one of those videos and keep watching. All right, everyone, I will see you in the next video and happy spring.